IPO diagram example, email. The following IPO diagram outlines the inputs, processes and outputs involved when using an email system to read, compose and send messages over the internet. So here once again is our IPO diagram template and once again in the processes columns I'll be using pink text to kind of symbolize process like words and I'll be using blue text to kind of connect the inputs and outputs that are going in and out that assist in those processes occurring to help you understand how they're all related in the way the system works. So let's get started with this system. And the first thing that usually happens with an email system is you need to log into the system through entering your login and password. So the system needs to check the login and password match records stored on a user database. And then the system will output back to the user a confirmation that they are correct or give them a message saying they need to re-enter their details because they don't match what's stored on the database and they can't log into the system. Now, if the user is correct with their details, the next actual process is gain them access to the inbox. So they need to load the user's inbox and then the inbox is displayed to the user so they can start navigating their emails. And then that will lead us to our next input in that they can now start selecting messages. When they select a message, the actual system will need to retrieve the message information from the server that is acting as the host for the user's emails. Okay, and then the output that will come on screen is each individual message that the user selects. So they'll be able to read the messages that have been sent to them. From here then, they've got options of what they can do with that message. So we're jumping back into the processes column again. Essentially, they can reply, forward or delete that message. And whatever their selection will be, some sort of confirmation will need to take place. Now, if they do decide they're going to reply or forward, or if they have not actually read a message, but they actually just decide to create a message straight away, that's kind of the same type of module that's in action here. They're going to the kind of compose message interface. All right, and from here, they can compose a message, whether it be they're replying or forwarding or creating it from scratch, okay? And they can enter in text and add attachments to the actual message. Now, while they are creating a message, the output of the system is that message in draft form. So they can see that feedback of what their messages look like. They can see that feedback that their attachments have uploaded to the server as it is being prepared in order before prior to sending. Okay, and obviously they can proofread it and all that to make sure the message is perfect prior to sending. But then obviously the next step is the sending of that message. So the message will be sent to addressed recipients in the uh, two column, the CC and BC column. It all gets sent to them. So that's the process there. They've got to uh, read who those all those recipients are and send it to possibly multiple recipients. But the other process that takes place with the sending is a timestamp gets added to the message and will be written at the beginning of the message that the date and the time that the message was sent, okay, that goes along with the sending of the message. The output at this stage too then is a confirmation will be sent to the user saying message has been successfully sent. All right. So, and that kind of finalizes this process here. So I hope this IPO diagram has given you understanding of how an email system may work at a very basic level. Obviously it gets more complex than this in what's going on there, but essentially the ability to log in and you enter in your login and password and you get a confirmation that you've entered the system how you can select messages to read and your outputs are those messages there. Um, you can choose whether to reply, forward and delete. And then from there, you can add to an existing message or create a new message. And you see that in draft form. And ultimately, you're able to send that message and you get a confirmation that message has been sent to your address recipients.